Well, hello, my lovely Retronomicons, and welcome to Platform 32. It's time, finally, once again, to crack on with some retro gameplay, because Evercade uh, have just released, or has just released, if I use the company as a singular name, which I technically should, uh, Evercade has just released two brand new cuts to add to your collections if you collect uh, them like are uh, like what I do. Uh, these two new carts are carts number 15 and 16. Do I have a way to show them full screen? I'm probably I should have set something up earlier. I'm gonna have to use this one uh, but, 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 Hold on hold on hold on. I could make this work No No No, I can't I just embiggered myself. I was trying to get rid of the cropping but um, I can't because I've got the wrong keyboard. So we've got the Pico Collection 2 and the Jellico Collection 1 today. These are carts number 15 and 16 of the uh, Evercade Collection. And uh, they hold a total of 23 games, which I will be testing out today on the stream. I won't be testing them all out, but I will have um, a good go at playing as many of them as possible, starting with the Jalico cart because it's already in my Evercade. Uh, the Jalico cart uh, has 10 games in, covering the 8 bit and the 16 bit era of games. And uh, Jalico is a, uh, uh, a Japanese publisher, I think. It's now defunct, but um, somehow Evercade have licensed some of their back catalogue to uh, release on cart, which is pretty cool. The other company, Pico, collection. I saw some people wondering what Pico is. Uh, Pico is a company, an American company, that specializes in restoring and re-releasing old retro games. Uh, this is uh, the Pico Collection 2 here. Seems to be a collection of sports-style games covering 8-bit, 16-bit and 32-bit era. So um, I'll be doing an hour, basically, on each cart. So uh, starting off with Jalico and then heading to Pico Collection 2. Hope everyone's good. Um, uh, who have we got watching? We've got Offo, DCC0209, Divine Bovan26, Dragon Brother, Gavin UK86, Carl Richardson, Kate Lily Keaton, Ballestin, La Team Maker, Mark Russell, Nightcat, Neam Filer, Stephen Rant, Stephen Max, Spider Man 2099, Vandal, Varanmis, Vulpas Obscura, 1064 Bits, and Will H. Watching on YouTube and over on Twitch, we've got Bell Gareth, Dragon Brother, Evandal Ross, Nightcat, and Gavin are there as well, making sure everyone's safe. Um, so let's crack on with some retro games. So first up, let's see what we've got on the Evercade console. I'm just, I've had it charging because uh, I ran its batteries out the other day. Uh, okay, that's good. Um, I unplugged the charging cable. I was like, I hope it's charged. It's charged three parts. We're okay. We're okay. So uh, it's got. Aston, As, Astianax, Astianax, yeah, Astianax, that seems about right. Looks like a, an NES-style Castlevania uh, alike. Uh, then we've got Bases Loaded, a 1987 sports game. I might skip that one because there's plenty of sports games coming up in the next hour. Brawl Brothers, that looks quite cool, 16-bit beat-em-up. Um, with uh, some pretty cool graphics by the looks of things. Then we've got City Connection. I remember City Connection, I think. That's an 8-bit game. NES, NES era, probably. Uh, Earth Defense Force. Not the EDF, EDF that I was thinking of when I saw it on the box. This looks like a um, side-scrolling shooter. We've got Operation Logic Bomb. Someone tweeted me saying that Operation Logic Bomb was awesome. A really good game. Um, so I'm definitely going to check out Operation Logic Bomb. We've got Rival Turf. I remember Rival Turf. I don't remember that incredible box art, though. Uh, that is, um, that is some hardcore early 90s, if ever I've seen it. Nice gradient, though. Orange to yellow. Uh, is that, hold on, is that M. Bison down there, giving someone a pile driver? Uh, Super Gold 2. Gold. It's a football game. Uh, the Ignition Factor. This is a 16-bit action game I've never heard of, but that looks pretty cool as well. Fireman game. Everyone loves a hunky fireman. 
Uh, totally Rad. I remember Totally Rad from the uh, NES days, but I didn't play it. So that's going to be an interesting one to check out. Uh, so, yeah, we might as well just go through them one by one, starting with Astyanax. Uh, so let's kick off. These retro games have a variety of sounds, depending on what era they're from. Some of them uh, may be quite loud. Some of them, like this one maybe, because it's just like hardcore beeps, so do let me know in the comments if the, the beeping is too much. Ask the Anax, I'm waiting. Is that Ask the Anax? He's having a kip. <clears throat> that same dream again. Strange, he says. I'm Ask the Anax. Okay, I gathered that. Nice chill music. Okay, we're good. The name is from Greek mythology. Comma. I think... Oh. <laughs> I'm a freshman here at Greenview High. Better to be a freshman than a dirty man. It is a bit loud, says Nightcat. Cool, I can, uh, I can nudge it down a wee bit. I don't understand what the dream means. And who is that girl? Question, question, dot, dot. Oh, what a, what a lovely line. Oh, we got some... We, oh, it's animated. The other day I was walking to school. Da dot, da dot, 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 dot. Ask the annex. Ask the annex. What the heck? <laughs> Did the son just call his name? Oh, my, I think it... Excellent. Now the music's uh, picking up a bit. Okay, here we go. Astyanax. Push start button. <laughs> See the size of those buildings, says Gavin. I think he might be. <laughs> Woo! Where am I? <laughs> oh, this is Remlia. My name is Cutie. Okay. I brought you to this world. I brought you to this world. So I keep thinking the sentences are going to be longer. Hwa! A talking butterfly! Listen carefully to what I'm going to tell you. Okay. The girl who appears in your dreams is Princess. Rosebud of Remlia. Cool. She is being held captive by the evil wizard, comma, Blackhorn. Astyanax, please save our princess. She's in another castle. Uh, but I'm only 16. How could I save her? Astyanax. You are the warrior chosen by this world. You possess the wonderful miracle power within you. Dot, dot. There's a disturbing difference between the amount of ellipses they use. Like, there was two there, now there's four. I saw five. Grammatically, three is the maximum you should really have, according to a book I once read. Only the princess can send you back to your world. I'll give you a princess, Rosebud, says Kate Lily. Oh. Oh, it's, wow. Strobe warning. Take this magic axe bash. This is the only way. You can get back to your world. Blackhorn has many monsters at his command. You have no choice. There's five ellipses. There's four now ellipses. I'm sorry. They just beat your mind up. Okay, then. Lead the way. Okay, round one one, Remlia. Okay, 
Oh, it's, de ooh, it's definitely looking quite Castlevania-y at the moment. Uh, uh, nice to see that the first enemy type we've encountered is a fart. <laughs> Come on, let me deodorize this fart. <laughs> what? There we go. Swatting those farts away. Ooh, skeletons! Pirate skeletons, judging by the cutlass, and also the... That is a fanatic skeleton. Whoa! Metroids! Okay. It's quite tricky. They're throwing a few, fair few things at me. Um, what have I just picked up? I've picked up something that's... Oh, look at that. There's a power meter. Uh, that must be like my stamina. So... Uh, if I wait between each swing, I'd probably do more damage. And, oh. Yikes! Cheeky NES style. No! Uh, baddies respawning if you go too far off the edge of the screen, I think. This game is called Astianax. <laughs> Someone said, uh, that's a coronavirus for the farts. Oh no, well, in that case, this is a mission I must complete. Okay, exploding skeletons, good. Piss off, Metroid. Wrong game. So my my power increases by itself. Oh gosh. Ugh. Which means that I don't have any idea what the thing I picked up is. I've got a a bar for special. Was there a plant here? Oh, maybe. oh there's a plant there. That's the one that knocked me off. Don't do it again though. Good. We made it across. Oh, what the hell am I? What weapon is this? Is this meant to be a sword? Looks like a pleasure toy. Looks like one of those massage toys you get. Eat Turbo Vibro Deluxe, fiends. Okay, that's good. How do I activate my special? Could it be a select button? No, not, nothing in the start button. What if I press... Oh, my health's getting quite low. Let's stop thinking about... Fuck! <laughs> Dang it! It's tricky. It's a hard one. That's what she said. I'm getting the hang of it now, though. That skeleton, no problem. This thing, a little bit more of a problem, though. Peace off, mate. No. Okay, got you. Yeah, that's, I just let that skeleton just fly on over. Oh my god, it's so athletic! Oh, fuck! It's, this is difficult. <laughs> Who gave that skeleton such intense parkour skills? Not me, that's for sure. They do make massage devices that look like swords. Winky faces, Kate Lily. Definitely one to wield in the bedroom. Okay, well, it's quarter past already, so I'll have one more go and then I should move on to the next game because there's no way... If I keep on at this speed, I'm not going to be able to demo <laughs> more than half the the box set. Uh, this is pretty good fun, though. It's rock solid. It's pro oh, fuck. It's proper old school hardcore side scrolling um, dungeony crawlery type thing. Reminds me a little bit. You remember Rastan? It's like Rastan. Uh, crossed with Castlevania. I think I'm doing a block, but I'm not 100% sure how I'm doing the block. The music's quite decent as well. I like the music in this. Fuck you, skeleton! Yeah. Whoa! That's it. Squidward, get... Get to fuck. No! Ah, oh, you bastard! I don't know how you get past that. Alright. <laughs> hey, Augmented Waffle. Augmented Waffle says I hated this game. 
Is it because it was very hard? Uh, this is playing on an actual Evercade, yes. Uh, I am playing it on this. Um, you can, well, uh, I, it doesn't look like I'm playing on this because I've got the HDMI cable in, but uh, if I um, if I take the... Oh. Hold on. <laughs> if I quit the game, and then it says, please insert cartridge, and then I, I pop it in. And then... Fingers crossed. I've not broke it. Demonstrating this uh, point. This is Blaze, Blaze Interactive on the front there. Although it says Izalb. And then... Evercade. There we go. The Evercade. It's real! Okay, so I was going to skip bases loaded because there's plenty of sports games coming up. Let's try a brawl, brothers! Um, most of these games are probably going to have differing sound levels. So feel free to let me know uh, if uh, you want the volume up or down. I have a feeling that the 8-bit games will be more intense on the ears than things like these 16-bit games. Augmented Waffle says, yep, I died a lot. Well, yeah, I know that feeling. Uh, oh, this is good. So there's a versus mode. Options mode. Fine. Difficulty level. Easy. Yeah. It's more like it. Sound mode, stereo. Oh, my. Oh. Should I push the boat out and go stereo? <sighs> so futuristic. Track one, shite. Oh, oh. Track two is also shite. Oh, I, I'm supposed to be pressing something. Okay, let me put the audio up a little bit for this. Excellent. There we go. Uh, music, angry mode off. I kind of want to know what angry mode is. But, fuck it. I put angry mode on. <laughs> I don't know what the hell angry mode is. Well, let's try it. Hello, Angela Sanchez. All right, Brawl Brothers with angry mode activated. Let's try it. I don't know what the fuck angry mode is. Ooh, who can I be? Right, we've got Big Lad White Pajamas, Lime Ninja, Airman Dave, Lady Short Skirt, and M. Bison. Uh, I'm going to go for Airman Dave. Maybe. Do I select it? Oh, what? Hold on. What's happening? I can't play as two players at once, can I? I've never played any of these games on this cart uh, before, so I'm learning as I go. Bayside? <gasps> Ooh, is this set in Saved by the Bell uh, universe? Okay. So we've got... Nice. I've got a I've got a celebratory fist uh, button. Um, I've got a, B is my super attack, which drains health, Streets of Rage style. The uh, the side buttons do mount. Uh, we got a jump and we got a punch. Oh, oh, that's a mighty fist. Oh, take that. Yeah, take that zero. <laughs> the comic book sound effects are a bit weird. Ooh, food. Mm. Okay. Crash. Okay, so so far, so uh, streaks of rage. Really, I like the uh, the uh, the detail to the background environments. 
bonk. I'm going to try a special move on this guy with the gun. No guns, buddy! Ow, he kicked me in the nuts. Fancy bringing a gun to a fist fight. Oh, I started running really fast then. Whoa, why am I... Why am I flashing red? Why have I got brutal sunburn all of a sudden? Bonk. Pretty good. Doing alright? I, I am on easy mode though. I don't know what's so angry about this mode. But... Stop that! I want this. Yeah, baseball bat. Now you're in trouble. And a chuckle. Every, every uh, 90s side scoring beat em up's got to have a little bit of chicken in it. Stop being so angry! Maybe angry mode is them all having guns? Ah! Nice, good throws. Quite nice music. <laughs> Heckler. I wonder why I am flashing like that. Maybe. Maybe I'm super powered when it's like this, or maybe uh, it's just showing I've been severely damaged. That helicopter's going to be a douche going to um, fire guns at me, right? Yep. Let's keep going. Whoa. I just threw my baseball bat like a dart. Why did I do Why would I do that? That was useful. A rock. Yeah, and stove your face in with a rock. That'll do. Why can't I steal these guns off people and use them to help myself? Woo! Okay, get down, robot man. I'm gonna... Oh, I'm so, they set me on fire. So is this guy actually called Hack? This is quite good fun. I like it. Oh, wow. He's, he's, bullet, he's got incendiary bullets in his shotgun. That's just like overkill, surely? Ah. This is definitely the sort of game me and my bro would have uh, enjoyed playing on the Super Nintendo or the Mega Drive back in the days. Feels a more like a Super Nintendo title than a, a Mega Drive title. But the control's nice. It's nice and fast and fluid. Um, all the buttons work, you know, the, the controls work nice. Get to pull off some cool special moves. Probably a bit more challenging if you play it on hard. Oh my! Whee! Oh. What's it doing? It's going to steal my pocket money. Picked me up by my pants and shook me. Where's your lunch money, kid? Not, not in my pants, mate. Well, I mean, not in my English pants. Maybe in my American pants. But not in my English pants. Don't have pockets in my English pants. Still need to pull the trigger on one of these other case lols, says Jib84 Gaming. They're pretty good. I, I really like it. Um, some of the some of the box uh, sets have you know a fair few duffers on, but there's there's enough good games in these collections normally to make the uh, the cost of the carts worthwhile because the carts like you know they cost the same as a budget game. Uh, but you get all the packaging and, uh, and everything. In fact, this one, the Jalico one, um, as well as having like the little instruction booklet that I quite like, um, it, it came with a came with a poster. Look, back like the old school when video games came in boxes and you could get posters and things. The uh, the Pico collection actually had a sticker pack in it. Some um, Soccer, soccer boy uh, stickers and things in there, but I, um, I've already stuck them to things. I'm afraid. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quit this game. I'm going to reload it again. 
I like this game. I'm going to play this game later on my own and see how far I can get. Uh, <clears throat> Ian, pick up the drain food. What are you doing? Says Nightcat. I don't want, I don't want to get... Um, what's it called? Uh, salmonella or whatever it is. Uh, I'm going to go to option mode. I'm going to turn back to easy because I'm a coward. And I'm going to try it with uh, arcade mode off. Uh, angry mode off. So I want to see what the difference between angry mode on and off is. I don't... I, I have no idea what an angry mode is. Boop -ba -da -bee -boop -boom. Who knows? This time I'm going to be Ninja Pete and M. Bison. Don't know why you picked two. And we're going back to the Bayside Diner to see what Lisa Turtle and, and Zach... Uh, Morris are up to. Okay, so is, why are you at? Why is I don't see too much difference yet. Unless maybe angry mode brings in some. Like, I mean that goes. Ooh, oh I like it. Uh, uh, all the characters have like cool different attacks. This guy's cool. He's like. Flips over people. He's got these knifey things. He's picked up a rock. What's this special? Let me try it as special. Whoa! He just cut himself in half. Badass. Okay, I really don't see the difference between. I don't, I don't see the difference between angry mode on and off at the moment. But I do know that this guy's way better than Air, Air, Air Force Dave. Yeah! Very, uh, very athletic. Yeah, this game's cool. I like it. This guy's quick as that. One more split and a half attack. Come on. Come at me, bro. Soink! Yeah, no idea what the difference between um, angry mode on and off is. Who knows? So that was uh, that was Brawl Brothers 1982. I like that. Let's go check out City Connection. Might need to turn, have to turn the volume down on this one. Are you okay, Nightcat? I, just, I don't know what's been going on in the chat. <laughs> There's some cat blocks going on. Right, City Connection. Uh, do I remember how to play this? Um, I think the only time I played this was back in the arcades, when arcades looked like this. Yo! Actually, he's not doing that. He's doing that. He's like... Fuck you! Google Automated Bot has it out for Nightcat. I don't know how to get rid of that. I don't know if that's anything to do with me or not. Right. Okay, car. So it's... Whoa! Is it... It's... Shoit. It's basically paint the floor, right? But with some jolly music. Whoa. What the, is that a baby? No, it's a cat. Did I die? Or did I pass the level? Is it's the It's the level completion no. Maybe not. I think I might have died because I hit the cat, which is I think fair. But that cat's got a flag on it. Like like you're supposed to hit it. I don't want to have to hit the cat, but it seems kind of cruel. I don't know how I get back up again. Oh, there we go. Okay, I have to press upwards and... Oh. Oh. My organs are everywhere! Just like at university. <gasps> Yup. 
Okay, right, we're gonna jump up! Hey. Oh, fudge. I don't have any, uh... Oh my god, the Transformer Spectrum game goes sharp. Yeah, it does look a bit like that. It really does. Don't run over cats, this has become a nightmare day for me, says Nightcat. Oh no! Uh, it's not my... Honestly, it's the game that's making me do it. Whee! Okay, we're doing some... Whoa! I was, I was going to say, we're doing some good jobs at painting the, the top levels, but... Not that good. Right, I hit the cat. Didn't look too happy. Did it? Did anyone notice whether that helped me or not? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! There's another cat down here. Well, there was. It's vanished. Oil six, 2,500. Okay, you're not supposed to hit the cat. <laughs> How many hearts does that human have, says Ethan Robin? I've no idea. And Egg Janagi Egg says, no organ donating for you. Sadly not. I've donated all my organs to the, to the floor. Okay. One, no. Now we know. Hitting the cat is, as I'd hoped, uh, a penalty inducing uh, event. Oh, she ain't. It's, it's, it's a little bit. Tr fuck. A little bit tricky to nail the jumps. These old, these old games, they ain't the best with the controls sometimes. I think a lot of them are meant for, you know, joysticks rather than D-pads as well. Whoop, that's my excuse anyway. Whee! City connection! It's a pretty cute game though. I like the music. It's quite a, quite a cool premise. And it's uh, it's definitely got that, that classic retro video game vibe. Um, makes me feel like I'm back in the 80s. Which is always a good thing. There's a balloon! I want the I want the balloon! Give me the bal- Give me the- Fucking balloon. Oh! <laughs> I died. I'm doing so well. Look how much of the floor I've painted. <gasps> no! Why does it play such cheery music when I've committed vehicular manslaughter against a cat? Vehicular cat slaughter. All right. I can't can't take the pain anymore. Oh, EDF, EDF. Let's do this. The animation on the car is adorable. Says one on sixty-four bits. It's pretty sweet. Um. Oh. Mean. Do 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 do. This, these graphics remind me of a game I used to love on the Super Nintendo called Axley. Axley had this amazing, like, rotating world that you flew along. It was you flew into the screen. Um, just the general vibe. I like the vibe of this. Okay, config, do we need to, let's put it this, ah oh, shit, fuck it, let's just play it, let's just play it, select your weapon, Vulcan laser, well I do quite like homing because it means I don't have to aim, Good luck. Put 
Ooh, Ooh, fuck, I'm down wow, this is nippy. This is a nippy little side-scrolling shooter. Excellent parallax scrolling there in, 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 in the clouds. And uh, yeah, definitely, definitely Super Nintendo. Um, this one. Those, those explosions are the most Super Nintendo explosions I've ever seen. It reminds me a little bit of a game I used to love as well called uh, UN Squadron. UN Squadron was not futuristic, it was um, modern times based, I think. It was like a, with these homing missiles and stuff, some of these uh, enemies. It's a little bit, got a little bit Super Robotech for my it. Or Super Contra if you're American. Normally not very good at these types of shooters. Bullet hell games are just... When there's too many bullets on the screen, my brain just goes, Nyah! Which is why I, I feel like Returnal might destroy me. Because that's basically like a bullet hell game. Bullet hell Dark Souls mixed with some PT. I've not been watching. I stayed and watched a little bit of Eve for stream, but... I want to get the game for myself because uh, I'm really keen for it. I don't know this have I got any Ooh! As I say, have I got any other weapons? And I just pressed one of my buttons and these little lads popped out. Oh, okay. Oh, what? Fudge! Oh, piss. No! That's what I get for experimenting with my weapon. Select your weapon. Okay, let's go for... Ooh, atomic. Super laser photo. All of the... Explode! I kind of like the thought of having a weapon called Explode. Arm the Explode! But instead I'm going to arm the atomic. The follow-up to UN Squadron is great too, says Darth Steve. Carrier Air Wing. Oh, I've not played that. Okay, this is... is okay, this is definitely harder <laughs> to fuck. The homing bullets definitely... Uh, the way to go in this game, I think. Not 100% sure what's so atomic about that. I definitely exploded like an... Atomic, atomic, atomic bomb. Um, okay, try one more weapon. This is a cool game though. I like this one. Fuck. Oh yeah. Okay. Here we go. Shit! I just flew straight into that. Wait, is, is my health that low already? Eep! I didn't see any power ups. Fuck! Yeah, my health was. Wow. Oh, stick to the homing missiles, Ian. Ekaruga, now there's a game that made me rage, says when I'm 64 bits. God, I can imagine. I could imagine. Okay, I'm going back to the homing uh, the bullets. Pew pew! Oh, they're like little spinny rings. That's cool. Right, why would you? Why would you choose any other weapon than, than the, the home gun? It does have to work for you. Right? Now all I need to do is avoid the bullets. It's easier said than done, when you me. Hey, dude! Take that cannon face, and you. Let's get the circle strafing there. Mew, mew, mew. Some interesting, some jaunty music. Look at me, I'm 
Kill the plant, she did the douchebags. Oh, think I took one up the rear then. Death for you! Death for you! Death also for you, and also slightly for me. One more hit and I'm trout here. I believe the best, my best attempt was my first attempt. Pra whoever said practice makes perfect can go f themselves. Oh, over here. Just, yeah, you just learn. Just suck up that fire, sucker. Oh, you're nice! Oh, it's not did you? Okay, sit down. You're not welcome here in my skies. Flying around in your impossible flying machine. How does that thing even stay in the air? It doesn't really have any wings. Oh, that wasn't the end of the level then. Nuts. Oh, look at you. Oh, look at this shit. That's very sci fi. What are you doing? You're throwing baguettes at me! Piss off! This red bubble deliveries that are trying to send me posters mid air. They're poster tubes. Fuck you! Ah! Well, I died. Hey, Long Lash Cuffcat, Cuffcat for sure. Her name is Long, but it's also short. Uh, game over. Game over. Quite literally, because I'm going to move on to the next game. Uh, yeah. If you've just joined, because there's quite a few people watching now. More than double was was watching at the start when I did my very bad intro. Uh, I'm doing. I'm playing through the two brand new Evercade carts today. Doing an hour on each, starting off with the Jellico Collection one, and then second hour starting from seven pm. I'm going to do the Pico Collection two. I am just about to play right now. Operation Logic Bomb, which I have been told is very, very cool indeed and worth the price of the cart alone. So let's do this. Nice toes. Nice robo toes. One of those words says bonk. Just the name. Someone's called Bonk C or C Bonk. There's, there's a Flynn and a Zack, I think. A f Flynn and a, a Yeah, I think there's a Flynn and a Zack, and then there's... So Flynn and Zack as first names, right? A Flynn can be a second name. So would it be like a Clive Bonk or a Bonk Clifton or something? I don't know, but someone's called Bonk in this game. What more logic bomb do you need than someone called Bonk? Well, this is looking. This this looks pretty spiffing, doesn't it? It's like some kind of Toyminator 2 kind of looking thing. Graphics are very nice. I'm gonna pop the audio up a little bit. Actually, it's quite loud. It's quite loud. Oh, look at this. Oh, I like the look. Of this. It's kind of um, Chaos Engine uh, vibe to the graphics here. Smash that glass. It's gone straight into the game. I didn't see any options or anything. Explodive barrels. Oh, yeah. Has this opened up a secret passage? You do love to see it. What is this? Kill the crab. Oh. Oh, cool. Look at the lights coming on. Hey, the lights are. Oh, this is cool. I like this. Lots of cool attention to detail. Fuck you, man! Where did you come from? Oh, oh. Oh, we can swap between guns. This is where I came from. Hey, thanks DCC for the super chat. What were your thoughts on the Oculus Showcase? Says DCC0209. Oh, well. Funny you should... Uh, funny you should mention that. Oh, look, I've done the thing. What, scanning mode? Map data down. Oh, download map data as well. That's pretty awesome. How do I bring up the map? Funny you should uh, uh, ask that. There's the map. Uh, you'll find out what my thoughts were on the showcase. 
on Sunday's episode of Ian's VR Corner. So, um, yeah. Find out what my hits were, my favourite bits on Eurogamer on, on, uh, on Sunday. Okay, killing these guys. It's taken me a little while to get used to the controls because you can only fire the way you're facing. I've been playing a lot of twin stick shooters where you can, you know, you've got twin sticks so you can shoot a different way to the way you're walking. And this one can only do the way you're walking, so I keep shooting, walking into bullets. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any... That's not flashing. There was the one I got my map from was flashing. Oh, let's have to change my gun to something that's going to make it harder for me to hit, folks. Some cool music as well. Ah, look at that. Thanks to my triangle gun, I can shoot round corners. Boom. When I die, I hope I explode. Seems like normal deaths are a little bit boring. Like, you know, some kind of error of effect. And then people can be like, see that? See that scorch mark on the wall there? That's where your great granddad. Actually, I'm not going to have kids. That's where your great. That's where your lovely uncle, uh, Ian, died <laughs> in, in a weird e explosion. Maybe I'll put, like, a, I'll get a mad scientist to put, uh, like, a bomb in my neck that only triggers when my heart stops beating. Just gotta hope I don't have like palpitations or something to set it off by accident. Haha, -ha, your turrets can only fire in four directions. In fact Massive design flaw. That I should use to my advantage. close to death. Three, three health nugs left. It's a very cool game though. I like it. Great graphics. Badass music. Some very interesting baddies. Crying out for twin stick controls because I'm finding it hard to not do what happened there. But yeah, I like this one. Definitely, definitely worth a go. Oh, the National Video Game Museum is reopening in a month, says Nightcap. Nice. I fear that Facebook will abandon the older Oculus headsets, given that Resident Evil 4 VR is only on the Quest 2, says Jacob. Well, yeah, Oculus did say that they'd never do that. They'd never have a Oculus 2 exclusive game, but I'm pretty sure they also said that they'd never um, Oh, none of the baddies are here, good uh, They'd never have mandatory Facebook sign up, and they've done that as well, so don't trust a Zuckerberg that's all I can say uh, They Yeah, I The Quest 1 will be obsolete at some point um, it, just, it goes without saying, I think, because it's not as highly powered as the Quest 2. I presume that Resident Evil 4 is going to be the start of that, and it's going to be the first of many. Because they want, they want the Quest 2. The Quest 2 is basically like two mobile phones strapped to, like a mobile phone strapped to each other, <laughs> basically, I guess. It's not the most powerful of machines in its native form. But it's definitely more powerful than the Quest 1, so, um, you know, they can make more flashy games and, you know, sell people on the graphics a bit better than they could with the Quest 1, I think. Okay, if you hold down the fire button, you move and shoot in one direction. Or I was doing, now I'm not. How weird. Maybe it's just, maybe it just auto-locks onto enemies. Uh, I don't know. 
Oh. Intruder visual. What's going on? What's happening? Am I supposed to be doing anything? Yeah, so uh, the Oculus One headset will be uh, obsolete at some point. It'll still be usable, but the, the, there'll be more and more Quest 2 only games as it goes. The Oculus Quest uh, One will still, you'll still be able to link cable that to PCs, though, and play like ultra uh, good looking PC games via it. It just means that you probably. Um, will be locked out of some future native quest games uh, if you don't have a quest 2. I think like VR tech kind of holds its value pretty well and if you're uh, if you have a quest 1 you could flog it on eBay and then use the cash you've you've got there to put towards a, a quest 2. Might work. How do I get past here then? What am I, what am I doing? Oh, does it mean I'm exploding. I'm exploding. That's cool. I like this game. It's uh, it's tricky, but not as tricky as uh, Astyanax. That's for sure. It's good. Definitely going to come back to that one. Uh, Rival Turf. I've been looking forward to this one mainly because of the box art. Is Resident Evil 4 going to run in on the device, or does it need to be plugged in? Yeah, it's uh, native to the Quest 2, so you're only going to be able to play it on the Quest 2. You won't be able to play it on the PC or the Quest. Um, it is Quest 2 only, I presume. This is just me guessing. Um, that Oculus probably gave Capcom a load of money to fund the development of it, or to get the exclusivity so that they can flog more Quest 2 headsets. I could, that's the only reason why... Uh, LR is run, huh? Uh, that's the only reason I can see... Oh, there's an angry mode in this as well! Uh, that's the only reason I can see why they'd have done that. Uh, unless the, it's just a little bit too powerful for the Quest, and they don't want to... They don't want to make it... Like maybe they could have had it running on the quest, but it looked a bit shitter, so they were just like, Do you know what? Fuck it. Uzi Nelson. These guys are from the other game, right? That's M. Bison. I don't, I don't know who Jack Flack is. Uzi Nelson. What a fucking stupid name. Almost as bad as Bonk C. Okay. Police. -ster. We're going to the streets of LA. The mean streets of La. Look at me. This is the guy from the other day. Does that mean I've got a special? Whoa! That's my run buddy. This definitely must be the. This must be the first game to star Uzi Nelson. Because <laughs> the graphics don't look as good as the other one. Bonk. Come get some Uzi Nelson fist in your face. If I do ever, 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 ever end up having children, which uh, is likely. My firstborn, I want, now want to call Uzi Nelson Higton. Look at this guy! What amazing trousers! I do get a pie in him. Them trousers are bad eyes. Stop it! <gasps> Kick me to death with those luminous pink trout trails. If I got a... How did I do that? That was very funny. I did a little spin, I don't know how I did it. How do, how do I do this cool little fancy spin? Oh, should we go and get some... Ow! Oh, fuck! I wanted to get some coffee from in there. Some coffee! Take this! How dare you disrespect the coffee shops? They've even got the same kind of stunned animations, these characters. They've re reused a few animations. I just suplex a fucking rubbish bin. Incredible. 
It's here, the national edition of City Times. Mate, you've stolen your fighting moves off Hagar from Final Fight. Or did Uzi Nelson teach Mayor Hagar everything he knows? Who knows? Who knows? A bus! Where are we going in the bus? Fuck, we're gonna have a punch up on the bus! Yes! I've always wanted to have a punch up on an LA bus. This is so 80s movie. Early 90s movie. That's right, skinny. This guy's got a cool bullet. This guy's got a bullet. Oops. We've got M. Bison here. Skinny's kind of got a bit of dial sim to him. And, uh... Uzi Nelson's move list is basically taken from Hagar from Final Fight. Oh, who's this guy? Butch. Oh, he's puffed up. Poor old Butch. Oh, fuck. Butch has got a lot going on up top. But he's definitely skipped leg day. I mean... And I like I like his, uh, his special move where he turns into... Uh, uh, Kate Winslet from Titanic. Come on, do your elbow move so we can... I can say, draw me like one of your French butchers. Do it, do it. Elbow me. Elbow me! Don't waft your arms at armpits at me. He's got like this ball-like body, and then like his left arm is kind of like the arm that Kwatu has in Total Recall. Sorry, Butch. This is my stop. <laughs> How long is this bus exactly, says Gash? It was pretty far. We're going to the city stadium. Okay, that says boat race up the top, but I thought at first that it's... No, it doesn't say boat race. What the fuck? It says entrance. I first thought it said bat face. And then I thought, oh, it must be boat race. We must be going to the stadium for a boat race. But it actually says entrance. And there's some sushi on the floor. Floor sushi? Yes, please. <gasps> How could you? What the fuck? No, sir! Gord! Gordon Bennett. Okay, let's go to the stadium bat, bat face and see what we can see. Oh, that makes my little spin, then. Oh, sit down, warrior. Owie. Oh, fuck. Oh, poor Nelson. Am I going to drop in? I want to see what's inside the stadium. Start. No? Yeah, there it is. So what I gather from the, the comments is that for some reason Google is auto-deleting links that Nightcat's putting in, but not links that Gavin's putting in. What have you been doing to... What have you been doing to uh, Google to piss Google off? Now? I'm beating up fucking Genie. Oh, sir! My wishes! I wish for you to stop beating on me, Genie. Owie, owie. Ooh, ooh. Give me the sword. Give me the sword. Fuck. Did I get the sword? Yes, I did. Oh, dang it. Oh, oh. Oh, well, fuck. Ow. Okay, it's, it's nearly time to move on to the... I've been having a lot of fun with that game. I like that one. There's some good. There's a lot more hits than misses so far on this cart. Gonna skip Super Goal. 
Uh, we've got totally rad. Okay, I'm going to have a quick look at ignition factor. And maybe totally rad as well. Jellico. I thought it said butt. F that sign said butt fence at quick glance, says Claire T Rex. I'd go, I'd follow a sign to butt fence. Sound test. No, I said quick looks. I was going to do quick looks. This, I mean, I'm intrigued by ignition factor. Okay, people, let's save some lives! I'm going to go for the high rise. Everyone to the briefing room. Look at that hardcore uh, fireman there with a handlebar stash. Looks like a wrestler crossing the fire. Let's get started with the briefing. Blah, 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 blah. Pygmalion Productions, a mannequin and fabrics manufacturer, is on fire. Oh my god, spooky burning mannequins. President Matthew and some employees are still on. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Yep. Chemical nature, huh? Great. Don't care. Shut up. Uh, up, down, okay. F truck. It feels like I'm doing, missing important things here. That one. Can I have it all? Am I taking this away or putting it in? Have I, am I taking it out of my inventory and putting it back into storage? Or am I doing the opposite? I don't know because I skipped the words. Equip item. Okay. I've got a normal fire extinguisher. Every good... Fireman needs an axe, not a rope, especially not what. Wait, is that a rope or is it a hose? I don't know. Get in there, quick. I won't be able to run or kick, but I can carry this. It's fine. Turn it up! Okay. I'm in a building. Oh. Okay. Definitely. I'm. What the hell am I supposed to. Oh, God! I'm such a flammable fireman! WHY AM I SO FLAMMABLE?! Oh, my water's recharged. Excellent. Okay, does it... Oh, yeah, okay, the water recharges. I was going on, on, on the lookout for some more water, but... It slowly recharges. Look at the state of this place. This is, yeah, I, I mean, this seems quite cool. You got, I got an axe. Urgent message. Keep your eyes open. People look a lot like mannequins. Okay, that's good to know. Thanks for that piece of obs valuable observation. Are you a mannequin or just someone stood very quiet during a raging inferno? Why have I brought the axe with me when I can just open the doors? Hello, people! Are you a mannequin? I can't leave without Anne! Who the fuck is Anne? Is she in here? Oh my god, there's so many Annes! Ah! Ah, I'm on fire! A green fire burnt me! Chemical burns! Anne! A Anne! Is there any, like, f I wonder if there's fire propagation in, the, in this, like, game. Does it spread if you leave it for too long? I'm not 100% sure. It's quite cool. It's a neat idea. Who's this guy? Just a mannequin. He says... Why would you make a mannequin in the shape of a dead man? Just in case you want to dress up the corpse in your basement. Oh, uh, darling, I'm just nipping down to Selfridge's corpse aisle. Uh, the one in the uh, the one in the basement starting to stink up a bit. And when when uh, when uh, when uh, Sue came round the other day, she laughed at it for having some really shitty clothes. So uh, you know, I want to buy some corpse soap and uh, you know a nice jumper for my corpse. Uh, okay, 
Well, let's move on to the, the, the. Let's have a quick look at Rad Racer. That is quite a cool game. I'm going to come back and look and take a sensible look at that at some point. Um, oh fuck! What the hell is that? Now the great Zebediah, master magician. Why wouldn't you have a dead man mannequin? Says uh, Kate Lily. Dead man mannequin is quite fun to say though. Okay. Just gonna skip on this. Like I said, quick look because we're eating into Pico Collection 2's time. Totally rad, man. Whoa. So Zeb, what's with all the jogging? What? Zap! Act one. Jake has been attacked by surprise. Cool. Nice graphics. Oh, he's oh, got a little. That's a bit Mega Man y. Nice jump. Okay, this is, this is NES game, and this is the sort of game I would have bloody loved on the NES. Okay, if I've not played it before. It's colourful, cool music. Nice graphics, the detail to the levels, like the, the parallax scrolling gives it quite a nice little, like, bit of depth to the, uh, the graphics. I like the, uh, the jumping and the, the fact I can charge my, my fist laser up. He's, he's not very good at running up at slopes though, he's on Jake. Make a slide down slope. Ooh, oh. Ooh, wow, I got shot. This is a good one. I like this one. It's like Mega Man, but maybe not as solid. Because the Mega Man games can be quite punishing. Bonk. Yeah. So this is this is definitely worth a shot. Um, if you pick up this collection, I like it. It's totally rad, man. Oh. And then my life. I'm, I'm doing what am I doing? Half health at the moment. I don't know what the little flying things are. I presume they're dangerous. What the? How could you? Firing rockets off. Whoa! That guy killed two two health bars that took off me. All right, so that's uh, that's totally rad, and it looks pretty cool. So yeah, uh, overall, I skipped over a couple of games on this collection. I didn't play. Bases Loaded, the baseball game, and I didn't play Super Goal 2. But I pretty much enjoyed every game uh, that I played on this. They've all, they've all got some some plus points. They all there's a nice selection of different style retro games. Um, I really enjoyed uh, Operation Logic Bomb. Rival Turf and Brawl Brothers were very good. I'm interested to play more Ignition Factor and Totally Rad. Astyanax was okay, quite quite hard though, perhaps a little bit too hard. Earth Defense Force was fun, City Connection was fun as well. Uh, yeah, definitely um, definitely a, a hit overall for me, the Jellico Collection number one. So nice work, Cart 15, on to Cart 16. Let's pop that in here. This music super loud. I didn't. I forgot to bring the music down for this NES one. That was super loud for you all, wasn't it? Sorry about that. Uh, oh, balls! I'm dropping things. Nice pack of games, says uh, Gavin. Yeah, it is. It is indeed. Right, that's the box shut. We are on to Pico Collection Two. Let's uh, menu back, and it's going to say please insert cartridge. So let's do that right now. There's the Pico Collection cart in there, slotted in nicely. Okay, so the Pico Collection 2 is, um, it's mainly, 
well, it is basically all kind of sports games. I'm not a huge... Well, in fact, I, I really am not a big fan of sports games in general. But there are um, some interesting ones to try out in here, including Beast Ball, which looks uh, a little bit like, uh, you know, a proto speedball or that um, Warhammer football type one. I can't remember what it's called. Um, we'll go left to we'll go through them all. Uh, Eliminator Boat Jewel 1991. I'm not 100%. It looks like something I've played before, but I think I'm thinking of that rare game, the rare software game, which was also out on the NES. Uh, football Madness. I mean, look at those graphics. That's an interesting one. That looks that that must be one of the yeah. It's a thirty-two bit one. That's some lo looks like some pretty decent kind of PlayStation One style graphics uh, there. It's not as old as Speedball. Just last I I've meant Speedball too. I've never played uh, um, Speedball one. Uh, what's this? Full Throttle All American Racing. That looks quite cool. It looks like you can race on jet skis and motorbikes. Uh, hoops. Shut up and jam. 16-bit sports game. Got some excellent uh, sunbathing action going on. I forgot to shut my window. I can hear birds chirping outside. I hope my neighbours haven't heard me going, Oh, fuck! Loads. Uh, hoops. Shut up and jam 2. I think I'd prefer hoops shut up and jam. Let you get some sun on. Get some vitamin D on your skin. Don't hang around in a rusty workshop. Tyrone Bones. Uh, power football. It's American football. Racing Fever, 32-bit racing game. Again, this looks like it might be quite good graphics. Almost um, GTA 1 style graphics, but maybe a little bit better. Soccer Kid uh, is the one I'm kind of most looking forward to playing on this collection because Soccer Kid is a game I actually remember playing on the Amiga. I think I had a demo disc with it on. Uh, and then we've got Summer Challenge, 16-bit pole vaulting. Top Racer 2, standard uh, 2D faux 3D racing game. Winter Challenge 1991 and... Trophy sucker. Look at that guy's face. Jesus. Looks like he sat on a spike. Oh, I had Soccer Kid on the Amigas as lasses. So let's just play these in order of, like, kind of... I'll just go through them when I see what I want to play. I want to try Eliminator Boat Jewel. Let's give this a go. This is an 8-bit one. <laughs> Look at that guy! No! There's another one. I'm gonna fucking run your boat over. That crocodile. Oh yeah. Dinner time soon. Oh yeah. Player one normal. I can assure you that player one is not normal. Whoa! My groovy guru vibes help my boat skin the waves, man. So long, unentitled ones. Aquarius Rex. Oh my! So this is the the the. the there's a couple of tight bends there in the middle. Ooh. It's throbbing boats. Okay, on the red boat, I've got a... I've got a jump button, just like real boats. Uh, and this is like we're going through like a bio... something. N. Is that nitro thing? Does that speed me up? Or I just hit an alligator? Okay. So there's a nitro. Oh, is that an S? <gasps> oh, I'm still, I'm still controlling it. We got to fly through the flag, drive through the flags, avoid the logs. I'm in the lead, yes, yeah, sucker. Oh, I'm hitting the flags there. This is, this is quite a cool um, game actually for an 8-bit title. They've tried out a lot of different styles. Yeah. It's got quite a lot of personality to it. Not bad. I want 50k. Stoner. The stoner's looking sad and he just got 25k for driving a boat. Mate, the amount of weed you could buy for 25k. Buy yourself a solid gold bong. Pfft, dry dock. I... 
<laughs> no, I'm not going to keep that joke to myself. Repair any damage. Nagura told me to look out for a waving girl in the top view. Then I would near the end. Mate. Don't want to hear about you nearing the end when you see a girl. This looks rad as heck, says Spiffy Mark. Let's do this! Do, do, do. Okay, starting on the first person boating adventure this time. Okay, did you get the end there? I got the end now. I don't know what the. No so, there are instruction booklets in the boxes for um, these games. They're only little brief descriptions, but maybe it will tell me what I'm missing here in terms of our uh, shite. Uh, when I, uh, maybe it will tell me what I'm missing by missing the pickup space. Oh, that was good. Don't hit the toxic waste bra. N feels to me like it'll be nitro and it'll make me go faster. Fuck! There's no way I'm gonna catch up with Aquarius Rex now. Where's this waving girl? Whee! That was a crab, I think. There's a waving girl! Wait. Can I rescue the wave? No. Fuck. Okay. Well, yeah, no. I d it did mean I was... Ah, oh, shit, son. Look how happy he is. He's going to fill that trophy with the dankest, sticky, icky buds you can find. With that 56k, that's for sure. Okay, I don't have much of my hand. Okay. Well, it's quarter past. I should move on to the next one. I like this one. This is a good game. It's silly, but there's a lot of different, uh, different like, bits to it. So I'm a fan of that one. If they made a cart with Elite and Frontier for the MK, I would buy one of the instances in that cart. Never say never, they keep announcing different carts all the time. Um, so yeah, I like that game, that's a good game. Good game, good game, Eliminator Boat Duel. It's silly, and um, it's got a nice uh, variety. Football Madness, don't like football games, to be honest with you. But I'm interested to see, I don't know if I've played a 32-bit game on the 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 Evercade yet. Are there any other 32-bit games on the Evercade? I don't know. Uh, dynamic camera on, single match on, single match going, yeah, I do. Uh, it's got a triangle on it. This must be a this must be a PS1 game. Uh, single, oh, fuck. Single match. England. Who's the worst team? I don't know football. Belgium, it looks like. Stadium 1. Wait, Stadium 1, Stadium 2, Stadium 3 and Stadium 4 are exactly the same stadium, just with a different coloured pitch. Well, I'm going to go for Stadium 2 because it's got the most accurate looking grass colour. England v Belgium. Football Madness released 28th of March 2003 on the PS1. Wow, Evercade can run PS1 games, the spiffy mark. I guess it can, which is a which is a very good uh, very good sign for future carts. I mean, this is yeah, this you know, I don't know what the fuck's going on because I don't understand football. Why is there a big giant egg on the... Whoa! Holy shit! Does this happen in real football? I want to... I will start watching real football. Is this is this what's going to happen in the Super League? Whoa, they've... Okay. No one told me football was like this. Kick a ball! I, d I didn't know the button to kick the ball then. I mean, is that a shoulder barge? Is that a tackle? 
That was a throat. Fuck! I don't know what any of the buttons do. Is that a pass? That was a pass. I did a pass. There we go. Kick the ball! Do a kick! Oh, boo! Oh, boo! You're going home in a fucking ambulance. That's a tackle. I just... Whoa! How do I do one of those big kicks? I mean, I don't know what the fuck's going on here, but this is probably some of the best graphics I've seen on the Evercade. Um, it's quite exciting to think that, um, that this game can run. Woo! I mean, it's quite flashy, this kind of stuff. It's quite exciting to think that the Evercade can run uh, games of 32 bits uh, from the PlayStation 1 era, because that opens up a hell of a lot of, like, really cool PlayStation 1 titles that they could port to the system. Uh, I mean, it'd be pretty sweet if you could get, like, a a Rockstar collection on this and I doubt Rockstar would let them <laughs> Rockstar a little bit Cranksville I think but yeah like a Rockstar collection where you have like GTA the original GTA 1 and 2 on it and oh, they, they definitely need a Psygnosis collection pay I, I'd pay good money for a Psygnosis collection that's for sure Hup! kick a pool I sometimes the kicky. <laughs> I'm not sure you're allowed to do that in football, but maybe you are. I don't watch football. I if real football is like this, let me know. Vagrant story on Evercade says Gavin. Yeah, PS1 games means Hogs of War says Nightcap. Lots of people wanting Hogs of War. I'm I'm out. I've the goalie's out now. Can a goalie score? What was that? That wasn't a kick. Fuck. Get it in the hole. Score a hole in one. This football match is improbable. Beat fuck out that guy. Pong. Pong pong. Right. Ow! <gasps> he punched the goalie. Foul! Half time. I mean, like, graf I not. I was not very good at that game. Uh, but it seems quite entertaining with all the power-ups and things. If I actually learn how to do a football, I might quite enjoy that. Graphically, it's great. It's the first kind of real 3D game that I've seen running on the Evercade. It's very smooth. You know, in, in terms of these types of games where the frame rates are always a little bit low in the past. Well, not always. Spectrum, some Spectrum games. I don't know what I'm talking about. Looks nice, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so let's carry on and check out a few more other games on this. But yeah, that's a really, really uh, good surprise that there's 32-bit stuff on here. 16-bit uh, racing is next. Let's get it on. No, that's not the name. That was the, it's a 16-bit racing game. The title of this game is All American Racing. It's actually Full Throttle All American Racing. None of this half throttle bullshit. We're going full throttle. Diddle -diddle 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 -diddle. There's a bike. There's a boat. There's a bike. Right. Beep -beep -beep. Oh, it's doing it without me. It's doing it without me. Good on you, Sue. Top points for Sue. Boris. I'm mashing on. Here we go. Two players, one player's name. Ooh. Ooh. 
boobs. Let's go with race. Okay, solo or combination? Well, I want to. I want to try a combination. Don't I? Wait. Oh no. Wait. Is it is gold to go or green to go? Shit. I want. I can't. Both of those got like gold is winning. Should I go that? Or should I? Oh, fuck. I'm gonna try the gold. Okay, this is the we, The race is gonna last all weekend. Release from Bellevue in September. Definitely one of the developers. Release from Bellevue in September 92. Rides fast, rides hard. Completely unpredictable. Stage one, Miami, Florida. I've been to Miami. Wait. That's where I got engaged. Got 5,000 I could spend on a new body. Wait. Because I'm just going to ride the body of the bike. No wheels or engine or anything. Okay, Ooh, that's not go, that's go. Well, we've got kicky kicky buttons with the left and right shoulder bumper buttons. Oh my god, what? That's dangerous! They don't even have. What workman did such a shoddy job to not even put um, signs up to warn them that there's massive. A little bit of road rash. A bit shitter than road rash. It's definitely doesn't feel as good as road rash in terms of driving or kicking. But I like the. I'm going to go for whatever that is. Nitro! How do I activate the nitro? Oh, there's more. Dollars! Ah, oh, fine, missed it. Okay. I'm going to go for. I'm going to try pressing some. Oh shit, there's too much going on. Is that Nitro? No. Whoa! That definitely wasn't Nitro. Oh my god, my bike is so battered. Well, I have no idea about the Nitro now. I don't even know if I've still got it. Zoom, zoom, zoom. This is alright. Uh, so, f I mean, it's nothing special. I've played a million games like this. Um, and to be honest with you, this. This is not there with one of the, with the best, to be honest with you. It's no Chase HQ or um, Power Drift. Do, do, do. Or Lotus Turbo Esprit. Or Outrun. Warg! Pop, pop. Guy Sharp is digging the music though. I'm gonna quit and I'm gonna load it back up again and see if I can try out the uh, the jet the jet ski. What are they call water skidoos. There's no super hang on. No, you're right, Guy Sharp. Okay, one player. Race. Solo. Water bike. Here we go. Weekend. Oh, I can check. I can. Uh, <laughs> Grogan. This brash New Yorker has always had things his own way and does not intend for this to change. Eagle. Last year's champion, Eagle, uses the latest technology to be a consistent winner. Steel. Do not let her good looks fool you. This former wrestling champion is as tough as they come. Hammer. Recklessly destroying all who oppose him. Foolish is the rookie who tries to muscle Hammer. I'm gonna... I would like to be crushed beneath Muscle's Hammer, please. Let's do this. Okay, weather. Oh, we can change as well. Miami, Boone, Boston, Tire Hill, Michigan. Walla Walla, Washington, San Francisco, Monument Valley. There's a lot of tracks. To be fair, there's a lot of... You know, the way around America. It's like the crew.
Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna get down to it. Let's get down to it. Oh, pressing the wrong button. Okay, so it's basically identical. Can I? It's <laughs> it's like the motorbike one, but the road is water, and the kicks look way derpier. Look at that leg! Look at Hammer's little leggy! <laughs> He's got such a little leggy! <sighs> Poor old Hammer and his tiny little legs. I don't know how I turbo. I do better on the jet skis than I was on the bike. Cash! Cash money! This is actually different to the to the uh, race one. This is more like feels like a more like a mode seven style game uh, here rather than an old school uh, foam 3D racer. Graphics are more decent on the wave thing as well. Aside from the little derpy legs. Looks like he's got his high, his finest high heel shoes on as well, with his little derpy chicken leg. Uh, yeah, aside from the derpy little chicken legs, uh, the graphics on the boat levels look way better. Boff. Still, it's not that amazing. I don't think it's a game that I'll play much more of on this uh, this, this box set. It's definitely not something I'd have played when I was younger, I don't think. Why did I just fist this guy with Crush? Am I beating Crush or is this Crush up ahead? I think Crush is this green one? Maybe me and Crush have to have a bit of a fight? I don't know how long this fist in the air again. Whoopa. Is this a jump? Oh, it's a jump. Whee! Nice, jumped up and got a repair. Yeah, the okay. So the whoa, oh fuck. Oh look, his little butt. The boat racing one is way better than the motorbike racing one. But still a bit. Sad. All right, let's move on to the next one. What do I want to try? Do I want to try hoop, shut up and jam? Mm -hmm. I'll save those ones. Yeah, let's try Racing Fever. This is another 32-bit game. Let's give this a go. Looks like a dog lifting up its back leg to urinate on something, says Hollis Williams. <laughs> Damn dead ass, says Mal Rui. It was a very nice perky little butt. It's the A button. There we go. Racing Fever. This definitely, again, looks PlayStation AF. PlayStation 1 AF. Oh, there's some cool cars. A Ninja. Zero. Ladybug. Why would you not drive the Ladybug? Doom, doom. Racing Fever. When did Racing Fever come out? Racing Fever. Video game, no, that's not, but that's Racing Fever Moto. Racing Fever game. Oh, there's many games called Racing Fever, but none of them are this one. Racing Fever, let's try PS1. Moto Racer is what came up. Moto Racer, wait a minute, this is. I don't know. I'm just, oh, wait. Oh, oh, Game Boy Advance. Is it a Game Boy Advance game? Racing Fever Game Boy Advance. I didn't know Game Boy Advance was 32 bit. Racing Fever Game Boy Advance. I think it is. I think it's a, it's a Game Boy Advance game. Huh. Who knew? That's why the A button is the B button. And 
by the sprites are fucking massive compared to the screen. I mean, this looks pretty decent, but it's <laughs> it's terribly hard to, <laughs> to judge when a corner's going to come up because by the time you see it, you've already having to turn it. It's, it's quite quite good looking though. Like, I can imagine seeing this on a Game Boy Advance screen. Um, like sized down, it probably looks a bit better um, as well because you know you're not seeing giant pixels. Probably get better. Uh, probably looks a little bit more realistic on uh, a smaller screen. This one probably actually does look a lot better on the Pico screen. Uh, the car's very slippy sliding. Second checkpoint. I'm getting the hang of the turns now. They're basically just right angles. I think actually if you played this game enough and learned the track you'd probably be alright. I'm already starting to get used to the the shortness of my view. And there seems to be some nice detail going on. Although a lot of the assets are copy and paste, the buildings and the trees are all just the same thing over and over again. The nicest thing about this game is the kind of cute car models. I just had a super chat or something, maybe someone subscribed, I think. Uh, game Boy Advance is indeed 32-bit. There we go. It is uh, it's a Game Boy Advance game. Gosh, I love it, says Spiffy Mark. It's a real shame they never finished the GTA port for the Game Boy Advance. The unfinished one was crashy as fuck, but playable since Nightcat. Oh, I didn't know that. So we did it right there. Third position. Did not qualify. What? Let's give it another go. So, Game Boy Advance games on this thing as well. That's kind of cool. That I'm going to try a booster. I think that's kind of cool that we, you know... There's potential PS1 and Game Boy Advanced games on the Avocade. There's so many historical games, uh, you know, on f from the 8-bit to the 32-bit. Many of them lost to time. I really like the idea that the Avocade could be a way to like preserve some of those games a bit better than just people having to you know, rely on emulation and stuff. Illegal emulation, I should say, because this is, I guess this is emulation, sort of. I'm actually doing better in this car than the other one. Maybe the other one was a little bit too fast for my brain. Or oh, I've just learnt where the corners are. It's quite a good game, though, actually. Um, it runs really nice, the controls. Although I'm fishtailing all over the place, they aren't too sensitive. And they're not, like... Um, really shit and not sensitive. Unsensitive? Minus sensitory? Uh, and the music's alright as well. It's, it's alright, it's good. Wee. I especially like the fact that I seem to be winning and I'm miles ahead of the competition. Tote's gonna win. Third checkpoint. Those losers don't stand a chance. Not sure how this track works, though. It's like la it's like laps, but it's not laps because we're going in the straight line. Meow. Whoop whoop! Booster wins. Track two of Racing Fever. Okay, and then we've got like a couple of different uh, graphical touches here. Oh, actually there was, but now there isn't. She seems a bit same. Maybe, maybe the track seems a bit same. I mean, this is supposed to be track two, but as far as I can tell, it's the same as the first one. I mean, a little bit does it For a bit, and then all of a sudden someone started watering the grass again. It's not bad. If you like racing games, you'll get, you'll get, um, you'll get some fun out of this one, I think. What time is it? Fuck. Okay. Time to try another game because I just crashed. <clears throat> Driver San Francisco was well good. 
It was, Gavin. Uh, right. Soccer Kid. This is one I've really been looking forward to playing. I can't remember anything about it except for that I did play it and that you get to kick a ball. And it's kind of like a platformer game. Ocean Software Motherfucker. Now that's a name I haven't heard for a long, long time. Chrysalis Software. Now that's a name I haven't heard for a long, long time. This game reminds me of the game Sleepwalker, which came out around the same time and was released in conjunction with Red Nose Day, I believe. God, oh, sponsored by Golden Grahams. Oh my God. out how to change it. Ocean. I wonder if they'll be able to get... Oh. Right, if you're watching Evercade... Um, Adam's Family game. The Adam's Family platform game with the motion. Get out of here. I think I expect the license for that would be hard to get. A fiendish alien steals the World Cup trophy. New. I don't know whether this is the Amiga version or not. Um, a lot of the time with the Evercade, you, I've been like, I played this game on the Amiga, but I then when I play it, it feels like it's actually the Super Nintendo or the Mega Drive version of it. It's got me a little bit worried about the Codemasters collection. Um, I'm hoping it's not the, like... I'm hoping... Oh, that kid's got a mean face. Um, I'm, I'm hoping it's the Amiga versions and not the console versions of the games. It was probably going to be the console versions of things. They just... I don't know. They're basically the same, but it just feels like not 100% the Amiga games I loved. If you know what I mean? Who knows? Who knows if this is the Amiga? Who knows if this is the Amiga version or the Ami uh, uh, console version? I don't know if this came out on consoles or not. How do I kick my bowl like that? Oh no, I'm doing my keepy uppies. Okay. What's is that? The info? Does that do anything? Do I need to kick the ball at the info thing? Okay, doing keepy uppies. Okay, we can do some ball tricks. Well, I have no idea how you get that information thing. Oh. I feel like I'm in England right now playing this. It's got bit by a dog. Just like in England. How kick ball? No, what? Ah, that way. okay. Ah. So you have to. It all depends on what direction you're pressing the the, uh, the D-pad. Sweets! Burgers! Hot dogs! Everything a growing football needs. Where's my bowl? Can I not whistle for it like the horse in The Witcher? Roach! Oh, the Oh shit, the rats! Okay. Oh fuck. Oh, my, those rats with no. No, wait, my balls were no match for those rats. Once I get the hang of the controls, I think I'll start getting into this. This is cool though. Um, I like the graphics. Very cool, like Amiga style graphics. Get up, get, up, get. Up. Shit! How do I get it out of the? How do I get my ball out of the hole? Music's cool, um, and it's just it has that 
Amiga platformer vibe that I used to love when I was a wee nipper. No! Boot it! Fuck. Now jump. No. Boot it. Oh, right. Fuck you, ball. <laughs> Gotham Grahams! Yeah! Gotta love that advertising. Can I walk? Can I bring the ball back to me? Is there a way to do it? Yes! There is! This kid's got a psychic link with his balls. How did I do it, though? Holding down the ball button. Okay, good. See? Helps to read instructions. I don't know why I never do it. Yeah, this is ace. I like it. It's got that cool um, Amiga-style colour gradient for the sky. So like basically every side-scrolling platform I had back in those days. going to go quite far, I think. Big bomb! Ooh. Ah, oh, damn it. Did all of that just to get eaten by a dog. Welcome to... E oh, okay, the ball hit the thing now. Welcome to East London... Welcome to London East End. Cards 4, balls 10. Press fire. Thanks. Oh. Well, I don't need to take it with me, because I can just warp it back to me. Okay, I'm definitely getting the hang of the controls now. Okay, come back to me. There's a lovely tube map. Some fast food. Stupid rats. Beak. Ah, not. There's a treasure chest. Nice. Okay. I don't know what was in that, but I got it. And I murdered some rats. Brilliant. Give me my bowl back! Shit. Wrong button. I press jump instead of kick. Oh. Bonk. Nice. Oh, my ball popped. Oh, I didn't mean to go down here, but I'll take it. Fuck! How do I get through there? Can I... Ah, nice. Cool. I'm going to guess that's a sticker or something, like from a football sticker book. I never liked football, but I, like every other child in the UK, back in the 80s and 90s, Collected football stickers. It was just, just what everyone did. Sticker book collecting was awesome. Oh, okay. I've got my Sonic the Hedgehog invincibility boots. Whee, whee. Oh. Nice. Old Town. That's cool. That's cool. I'm going to play more of this for definite. I'm definitely getting to grips with the controls now. You can tell when Ian likes a game. His eyes focus really hard, says Gavin. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Kick, jump, it's all in the mind, says Go Sharp. Yeah, that's cool. That's good. For ah, look at this now. There's like little raindrops and things. Yeah, this is a good one. I like this. I think this is probably so far my star of the box set. Like I said at the start, not a huge fan of sports games, so really there's not a lot personally for me in here that would keep me coming back to this car. But this one definitely will. Fuck! Scratch my face. Is I be bit by a dog, jump in spikes, or scratch my face? I couldn't pick. Couldn't pick. So yeah, uh, Soccer Kid. That's great. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like that. Uh, summer Challenge Top Race 2 Winter Challenge. Let's go for Top Race 2. I mean, I, I'm going to have a quick look at it, but I know. Ex I already know exactly what this game is going to be like. 
just by that screenshot. It's going to be just like every other fucking game like this. <laughs> every other fucking game like this. Except for this one's got some banging tunes. You'd feel those raindrops if Evercade had your senses going. Ah, yeah. Oh. Oh, that's boost. What the... F no. Ah, no. Wow. Why is Y accelerate? Why is Y accelerate? Oh, yeah. Look, that's got the same. I've gone through bridges like that in Chase HQ many a time. And also, eat my dust, crash and burn. Move over. We've got some lip offs going on here. Kick it. And I have a boost. Whoa! I mean, the crash, the crash animation is kind of cool. The music's good and everything, but I just, with the, this genre of games, you have to do something special to stand out from the crowd. You can't do I don't think it can just be a a standard racing game with some comedy speech bubbles. You gotta either have some like proper unique locations like power drifts, almost like raised log roads, or Chase HQ's boss battles, you know, road rashes and kickies. If you like these types of games, there's plenty of people that do like these types of games. Um, and this, you know, this, this actually handles really nicely. It looks good. Uh, sounds good. Just not the sort of game that I I uh, to play a lot of. I don't think. Am I first? No, I'm miles behind. I'm all out of boosts as well though, because I used them up when I couldn't work out what the accelerator was. It's kind of hypnotising, Gavin reckons. I'm not even looking now. These games have a sort of like auto steer to them at times as well. Oh, not that bit. I wonder if the driver from this car is called Bonksy or Uzi Nelson. So yeah, it's alright. If you like these types of games, it's pretty decent. Not one for me, but I've played way worse versions of this type of game. Do 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 Exit. Exit. What? I'm pressing, I'm not going, it's because I wasn't going there. My Evercade is starting to run out of batteries as well. Uh, the batteries last quite uh, about three hours, I'd say, full charge. Uh, this was three quarters charge when I started, and we're now on the final bar. Uh, let's try Winter Challenge, because that looks like it's got some kind of crazy uh, mesh 3D graphics to it. Oh, he's actually, the driver was actually called Derek Bellend, says Gaz Sharp. Nice. This is basically why I play Horizon Chase Turbo on Switch, says Spiffy Mark. I mean, yeah, Horizon Chase Turbo is pretty decent. Again, like, I own it, and I've played it a couple of times, but I just, I find them, I don't, they don't capture my attention very well. I don't know why. See you later, Log Lash. Look at that bobsled game. Fuck. Jeff. Take me bobsledding, Jeff. Okay, all well, of that's fine. Train. I want to go bobs. Look at that. Luging. Bobsleds. <laughs> Shoot hunt. There's loads of. Well, hold on. I say there's loads of events. There's like four types <laughs> of skiing. Basically, two types of sledging. Snowball fights? What is that meant to be? And then shootings? Anyway, let's try bobsled. Fast paced sport, originated in Switzerland. Let's do it. Bop, 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 bop. 
Bop. Look at this. Look at this. What do I do? Oh, oh, am I tapping? I think I have to... Oh my god, this is going at a slower frame rate than um, the... Oh, what's it called? The 3D racing game on the uh, Super Nintendo. Uh, <laughs> oh, they tried, bless them. Uh, I presume the start bit, it all depends on how much of a run-up you can get at the start as to how super fast you go. Oh. I'm turning it around. Fuck! I don't know what I don't know how that happened. Oh my. Uh no, not stunt car racer. Um uh, I know what you mean by stunt car racer. I had it on the Spectrum and the Amiga and it did have a similar frame rate. Um 3D racing game. Stunt race FX, that's the one. Stunt race FX. Hello to all 19 people watching on Twitch at the moment, by the way. Hope you're having a good time. Sorry for ignoring you. Just guy always look at the YouTube comments. <clears throat> uh, okay, let's go to event selection. Let's try let's try the shooty game. I presume this is shooting. The biathlon is a combination of cross-country skiing and target shooting. The sport evolved from travel and warfare. Oh, shit. I don't know if I meant... I'm pressing the button. Wait, what if I don't press the button? Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, ski lift. I don't want to crash. Because I, I think the target coming up ahead... Is this an actual sport from the Winter Olympics? We just ski down the hill a little bit, pull a gun out, shoot fuck out some stuff, and then ski for a bit. Look at this little doo -doo 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 -doo. And then shoot a bit more. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh. Oh, my. I've got to say, Daily Thompson Super Test ZX Spectrum, better than this. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck! Wow, time flies when you're having an awesome time with retro games. It is two minutes to eight, so I will. Uh, I'll round up here. Um, I didn't play Trophy Soccer. I didn't play Beast Ball. I didn't play. Hoops Shut Up and Jam or Hoops Shut Up and Jam 2 or Power Football. I think they're basically... you And I didn't play Summer Sports Challenge. I, I think they're basically exactly what you'd expect from those from the titles and from the screenshots. Um, it's a decent enough cut, the Pico Collection 2. As I said at the start, never really been into sports games, so my interest in this cut is a little bit more limited uh, than um, my interest in the Jellico cart. But that being said, Soccer Kid is really good. I also really liked Eliminator Boat Jewel. Um, and I'll probably have a go on Hoop Shut Up and Jam and stuff later on. It's basically worth it for Soccer Kid. I mean, if you're anything like me, you'd buy it even if you didn't like all the games on there at all anyway because you know you don't want to have a number missing on your shelf uh but yeah no it's 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 fine it's fine um big fan of football madness the graphical style of football madness though it's nice to know that this uh, this console can do 32 bits it kind of opens it up to a, a whole extra generation of of video games which means that the future of the Evercade system is probably looking pretty bright. Especially, you know, when you can buy an Evercade with th three games for basically 
a tenner more expensive than Returnal. So, uh, you know, it's worth it, I think. I like I like the Evercade. I don't really talk about it too much, but I do like it. I'm a fan of the Evercade. So, yeah, thank you very much, everybody, for watching uh, this stream. Evercade, let's just double check. I think there's some more Evercade carts coming out next month. Evercade cartridges. Um... Is there a release schedule? Evercade cartridge. Evercade release. Release dates. I know I've seen release date update. Here we go. Uh, no, that's not it. There, I've seen a graphic somewhere with. Um, the release dates. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, I think in May, some more come out, some more carts come out. But I can't remember which ones they are. So in August, the Codemasters collection comes out and the Mega Cat Studios collection comes out. I'm really looking forward to August. The Codemasters one looks great. Cannon fodder, sensible soccer, the only football game I actually like. Um, Super Skid Marks is on there. Cosmic Spacehead, things like that. And then the Mega Cats collection is kind of like retro games, but made nowadays. Uh, and the um, the collection one of the Mega Cat Studios was really good. Ah, here we go. May Indie Heroes collection one and the Worms collection as well. So they are out May. So I'll do another Evercade stream uh, when those come out. The Indie Heroes collection is, again, uh, modern people making retro games, I think. Uh, and then there's a lot of question marks for later on in the year, which I guess will be filled in. But if it goes April, May, skip in July, then there's August... I guess, yeah, I guess, yeah, maybe they're skipping June and July so that they can have carts coming out every month up until Christmas. I don't know, but yeah, there'll be an Evercade uh, stream basically whenever a new cart or a new selection of carts comes out because I'm a big fan and I like playing retro games. Uh, and that's about it. These two are out today. Uh, you can grab them on Amazon or whatever store you like shopping for games on, I guess. Um, thanks for watching. Do give me a subscribe or a follow, depending on YouTube or Twitch. And um, don't forget to like this video. Thanks to the mods for keeping everyone safe. Sorry to Nightcat that Google hates them. And that's it. Have a great evening, everyone. And enjoy the retro games if you get your hands on them. Goodbye.